there are strange things going on with Ana's sleep dart accuracy. Ever since the release of Overwatch 2, players have reported abnormal accuracies like 150%, 500%, negative 30%, negative 400%, and so on. What's stranger is that this bug has an unlikely culprit, Genji. If Ana shoots into Genji's deflect while scoped in, her sleep dart accuracy goes haywire. Why? Weapon accuracy is derived from two other statistics. The number of shots hit divided by the total number of shots fired. This results in a percentage value which should never be negative since there's no such thing as a negative hit, and should never exceed 100% since there cannot be more hits than shots. This of course assumes that these two stats are tracked accurately. As Ana, we can actually see one of these stats on the scoreboard under the name Enemies Slept. The other stat, which I'll name Total Sleep Darts Used, is tracked internally but isn't shown to the player. When we fire a scoped shot into deflect, you'll notice that the enemy's slept value does not change, despite the change in accuracy. This implies that the total sleep darts used value is changing behind the scenes. But how? Let's answer that question with a question. Suppose a player shoots a barrier, such as Reinhardt's shield. How is their accuracy affected? Will the shot count as a hit, or will it count as a miss? It's a trick question, because the answer is neither. In the January 9, 2018 patch, accuracy stats were modified to ignore mitigation abilities, namely shields, defense matrix, and deflect. In order to exclude these abilities from affecting accuracy stats, blocked shots cause the player's total number of shots fired to be subtracted by one. This effectively erases the shot from history, neither increasing nor decreasing the accuracy stat. For most heroes, this works perfectly. Shooting into deflect doesn't change your accuracy, as intended. But Ana's stats have a strange property where this subtraction applies to both of her accuracy stats. This means that shooting deflect will subtract one from the total scoped shots and total sleep darts used values, by sharing this subtraction, these stats end up adversely affecting one another. As an example, say we sleep three enemies in a row, resulting in a sleep dart accuracy of 100%. By subtracting a dart used, our stats now say we have only used two sleep darts, resulting in an accuracy of 150%. Another subtraction results in an accuracy of 300%, and decreasing this value to zero results in an accuracy of 0%, since dividing by zero isn't possible. Last but not least, decreasing this value into the negatives results in a negative sleep dart accuracy. Finally, the namesake of this video is fulfilled. But Ana isn't the only hero with accuracy oddities. One of the most common questions I receive is, how do I have over 100% pummel accuracy as Ramatra? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, the answer is simple. If you hit more than one player per pummel, the resulting accuracy will be above 100%, since you have more enemies punched than the total number of punches. Now if you're thinking, duh, of course that's how accuracy is tracked, you may be surprised to hear that Ramatra's pummel accuracy is the only statistic in the game that functions this way. Every other accuracy stat simply checks whether or not the shot hits an enemy, returning either true or false. This means it doesn't matter if an ability like Fire Strike hits five enemies. It only matters if it hits something, and if so, only counts one hit. That isn't to say you can't break these stats, though. For example, I currently have 800% healing accuracy as Baptiste. That's pretty good, but it doesn't mean I'm hitting eight teammates with healing grenades. Remember, accuracy stats don't care how many players you hit only whether or not any player was hit. This bug is actually a result of how the setup phase interacts with statistic tracking. Stats are only tracked while a match is in progress. By firing a projectile during the setup phase and having it land after the match starts, a hit will be logged without the shot itself being logged. This is particularly easy to do as Baptiste since he can suspend many healing grenades in the air before the setup phase ends. If you perform this but instead hit an enemy shield, you will start the game with negative one shots fired. 
This won't result in a negative accuracy though, since your number of hits is still zero. Even if your next hit is successful, you will still have 0% accuracy since you technically have zero shots fired. Five. To achieve a negative accuracy, you would need to hit a shield at least twice during this time period. Only then will your next hit yield the right values for a negative result. This setup phase desync only affects some accuracy stats, however, since different weapons use different methods of statistic tracking. Let's look at Zarya's secondary fire. This weapon increments its total fired value as soon as the shot is fired, and evaluates whether or not a hit occurred once the projectile explodes. This is in contrast to Farah's rocket launcher. This weapon does not increment its total fired value when the rocket is shot. Instead, it waits until the rocket has exploded to both increment its total fired value and check for a hit at the same time. Every weapon and ability in the game track statistics using one of these two conventions. From testing, these are the accuracy stats that have the decoupled tracking, meaning they can exceed 100% and become negative. In any case, Ana has the only accuracy stat that can become negative by shooting deflect, so she's still special in her own little way.